So what are we doing right now? We're going on a walk because I feel like I could be at the very, very early stages of maybe going into labor. Nothing guaranteed yet. But Absolutely. And how do you feel about that? Excited. I want to meet baby. Yeah. You've been doing fantastic about this whole thing. I'm ready for baby to get here. It's getting a little, getting a little cramped in there. Absolutely. I love you. What would you like to say to Quinn where he's at right now in his life? Where he's at in his life? Um, that he's so smart and so adorable and I wish sometimes he could just tell us what's wrong when he's a little fussy and we try to do the best we can to answer those things but I just love watching him grow and I love seeing his little personality come out and I can't wait to see who he becomes. What advice do you have for him for life? For life, um, I think to just to be kind and have a kind heart and just be good to others and yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. You put me on the spot. <laughs> What's been one of your favorite memories with Quinn so far? Oh, that's a great question. So the first thing that popped in my head is how cool the pictures are. So I have a couple, I have like five favorite pictures of Quinn lately um, that I want to put together like in a montage. And one of them is, and maybe this is my answer, is we went to Ikea and Quinn was put in the shopping cart and he was so excited because his stroller typically he's kind of like stuck in. And so he kind of, he can't see peripherally. He can kind of just see in front of him. So in Ikea, like he could see 360 degrees around him. And he was like stoked. And he's such like a gregarious, happy baby that he would see other people and like smile and laugh at them and everything. But the picture that like uh, memorializes it is like, he's in the side like this and he looks over the side and he's like, and it's such a cute picture. And it kind of captures his like, his kind of curiosity about the world, which is actually a fantastic characteristic. If you could give him any advice, what would you give him? So I kind of think about the advice my mom has given before, is that sometimes in life, there it's not good and bad decisions. It's not black and white. It's not, here's the right decision, here's the wrong decision. Sometimes it's like the best of great decisions, and sometimes it's like the best of bad, a bunch of bad decisions. And you can't beat yourself up over about, you can't beat yourself up about that. Sometimes you're just in a bad situation and you just have to go, here's the best pathway out. And, and don't feel shame over that. And it's hard to say, don't feel frustration over that, but just realize that that's not your fault. You're not responsible for that. You just have to find the best, the best pathway to take. And we all find ourselves in those situations. We all do. That's it. If you had to guess, what his future career would be, what would you guess? Right now, 
I honestly think it's going to be in plants. I think he's going to be interested in trees. He loves trees above like, he does like grass and plants and flowers and everything, but he loves trees. And if he's interested in trees, that's awesome. That's so interesting. There's like avocado trees and peach trees and fig trees and all that kind of stuff like that. If he was interested in trees, that's kind of interesting. I would totally like take him to forests and take him to nurseries. Um, right now I'd say it'd probably be something in trees. Yeah, then it's it's all <laughs>